want to say to the, the people of Victoria that I'm sorry. It's not okay. This country is being pummeled. I swore to protect you, and I failed. Victoria will be in lockdown within the next 48 hours. We are declaring a state of emergency in Victoria. These are not designed to have zero new cases. In effect, nothing we do can deliver that outcome. This is about, as everything we do, is about flattening the curve. It was unclear what the future was going to hold for anyone. And that's, I guess, where the fear began. We need to go harder and we need to go longer. This has been the most insipid and diabolical game of Simon Says I think I've ever seen in my life. Take your mask off, put it back on. Stage four is here, our COVID hell far from over. In many ways, like, he has that saviour complex. Daniel Andrews would have made a very good preacher. We'll have to extend out for two weeks. He had all of the power. While Melbournians are this morning living inside a ring of steel facing $5,000 fines if they attempt to visit regional Victoria. It's, it's Australia, it's not supposed to be like that. Yeah, it's supposed to be free. Playgrounds, basketball courts, skate parks and exercise equipment, despite the fact that it's outdoors, will be closed. Shane Patton is on the line. Uh, Chief Commissioner, good morning. Morning, Neil. Well, the curfew is the hot issue. Were police consulted about the introduction of the curfew? No. We're going to focus on a video that's been widely shared and it shows a woman being arrested for trying to organise an anti-lockdown <laughs> protest. What, what, the, what on earth? That was actually one of the things that convinced me that I needed to protest. <laughs> We felt we felt a duty, and um, we're really been a duty to do something you know, to you know, to continue growing the movement. And frankly, I don't even I don't I do, seriously. I'm, I'm making a serious one. I don't know what half of them are protesting against. You. Well, a lot of them. Then, well, good on them.